Hey everybody, Jim Bull, it's a Brat Captain coming to you with your weekend race report. Brat Magazine weekend race report, huh? How about that Tuesday? Y'all had a great weekend, right? I know we did. We were out at the South Penn Enduro Riders Oxbow Hair Scramble. That was a combination ECEA and District 6 Hair Scramble event in Frackville, Pennsylvania. What a weekend. There we go. We say that all the time, right? Hey, anyhow, this weekend race report sponsored by Pro Action Suspension in Millville, New Jersey. Reese Firestone, certified, authorized Pro Action dealer since 1999. Dude knows how to make a bike work. Reese wants your business. Check him out. You can find his ad, Pro Action Suspension, in every issue of Brat Magazine. Reese has been a supporter of us since like 2002. The dude's been around for a long time. He'll make your bike work. We'll put his ad in the blog with his contact information. If you need suspension work done and you don't have a regular guy or you're not happy with your regular guy, give him a shot. Call him. It don't hurt to call him and talk to him, right? Reese will hook you up. Anyhow, South Penn Enduro, Skip Stoner Memorial Oxbow Hair Scramble. It's been raining for a freaking month. I think maybe longer. I don't know. Props to the ECEA, District 6 officials. South Penn Enduro Riders putting this course together. They run up at Frackville. I think it's right in the Anthracite property. Uh, but, man, they they fought rain all week. Friday they had a decent day. But I tell you what, you know what? People tell me motorcycle racing is dead. Don't believe them. 568 riders signed up to run in the mud and the muck and have fun. And there were smiles everywhere. There were also some dudes laying on the ground. But, uh, you know, hey, anyhow, it was a tough day. I couldn't have done it. It started off Saturday morning. Uh, Saturday afternoon around noon, it was raining. The Pee Wee kids, 28 Pee Wee kids, hit the line to go racing in the rain at Frackville. Um, in the end, Nicholas Moretti was seven laps, one, two, over two minutes over Gabriel Molinari in second, followed by Tanner Evans. Moretti, Molinari, and Evans. Sounds like some Italian kids. I don't know. Maybe from New Jersey. Ha! Nothing wrong with that. I'm not being, uh, you know, never mind. Shut up, bull, right? Anyhow. Props to the Pee Wee kids and their parents for getting them out there and getting the job done. Next up, we had the Juniors, 49 Juniors. I took a ton of pictures from these guys. They were getting after it. Austin Sakonikas, he's he's the guy, I guess, followed by Maddox Hickey and Ryder Segetti. Ryder was uh, riding in the 7-9 to nine class. The other two boys are 10-11, to 11, so Ryder, he's got, he moved up this year to the junior class. He's got that throttle wicked on. But Sakonikas, like I say it all the time, I don't know what Mama Sack's feeding them boys, but they do go. Uh, he took the win in the junior division. Youth racing, same deal. Mac Fernandez, he's established himself as the guy to beat. Max was out front wheeling through that creek crossing. I got a live video up on Facebook. Check it out. He took first place, followed by Braden Olette, another fast kid coming. Kyle Greenowich, Julian Wojcik, and Ian Wiseman, all fast kids. It could be any of them. Now, Max, if he's there, he's usually going to be the guy. But, uh, you know, he's out in that GNCC scene. That is C's. How many CCCs is that? But Max won youth division. 82 youth racers lined up Saturday. And by Saturday afternoon, it could chill out a little bit with the weather, but mud was deep. Sunday. It rained Saturday night again, okay? Sunday morning, 220 riders lined up for the morning race, the morning C divisions. And, you know, I talked to Papa Sakonikas, Andrew, okay? He'd been racing again this year. I said, hey, on Saturday, I saw him. You racing tomorrow? He's like, nah, man, the Enduro's coming up. I got to save my equipment. I'm not going out there. You know who won that race, right? Kid's hooked again. Kid, I call him a kid. He's a man, right? He's got four, three, or I don't know how many kids of his own. Andrew Sakonikas, first overall. But you know what the bigger story was? Braden Nolet, I talked about him in the youth race. Second overall, running out of the schoolboy one line. Six seconds back. Sakonikas is a pro. He's been doing it for a long, long time, winning races. Braden Nolet, watch him. He's coming. Followed by Hunter Keene in third place. He was racing off the schoolboy line, too. 220 guys. I got awesome whole shot pictures of those guys. Mud flying everywhere. Check them out. I'll put the links in the blog below. Main event, South Penn stepped up. $2,500. 2500 ducats, like the kids say today, to win that bad boy, all right? 500 per second. Uh, 250 for third, brought some fast, fast riders out. But in the end, Ryder Lafferty, last year's Hair Scramble Grand Champion, getting it done. Two seconds back, Wild Wiley Palmer, all right? So two seconds, two grand, big difference. But you know what? They were high-fiving, hugging each other when it was over. Took them through two hours. Where's I, Where's my notes? Two hours, and I don't know. I don't even have the note. Two and a half hours, I think, to get around the course. 
uh, white flag decision that was uh, 140 or 245, an hour 45 in the race. It's like, do we cut him now or do we let him go? They let him go. 50 guys. Dustin Barrick, I think I'm saying your name right, running on the 251 A line. I don't know you, but props, dude. You were the last guy to get four laps in in that course. That course was whooped out. They said there was water up to the gas tank in places out there. That thing was tough, man. It was brutal. Ten and a half miles. South Penn did a great job putting it all together. Dustin, last dude, came in 50th overall out of 166 riders. Got four laps in. Props to you, dude. Props to everybody who went out there. It was a brutal race. Jared Stoner showed up the race for his Memorial Dad. He ran in the double A line. He won it last year from the sportsman class in the morning. He stepped up. Double A ain't raced since then, probably. 18th overall. Casey Clark showed up. Uh, motocross fast guy. Casey's old too, man. Yeah, sorry, dude. 34, 35 years old. I don't know. He's a motocross rider. He finished 24th overall. He was the last guy. He said, I'm not even trying to get that whole shot. He said, I'm coming in the last in the double A line. But he signed up and he went for it. Great job, Casey Clark. Uh, Ryder Lafferty, two seconds back, Wild Wally. And in third place, psh, 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 McDoodle, Kyle McDonald, Kyle McDonald, Beta Rider, Bromley Beta Rider. Great job, guys. Uh, and uh, behind him, Jarrett Moan. I called you Charlie Moan, I think, on my Facebook Live. I'm sorry, dude. That's a whole nother. Anyhow, Jarrett Moan, fourth overall. I know him and McDonald were battling out there. So great race. Next up, back at the same venue. This is getting long. Sorry. Back at the same venue this weekend. Roar, Reading Off-Road Riders, South Penn Enduro Riders. They're teaming up, doing a junior sprint enduro this Saturday, back at the same Frackville location. If you aren't doing anything, if you're a youth kid racer, if you want to get your kids into racing, check it out. It is an awesome format. 27th on Sunday's Broad Mountain Enduro. Next, ECA Hair Scramble, Rocket Raceway, June 2nd, The Broken Anvil. Check that out. Love you guys. Brat Magazine, new issue out this week. More race coverage in there. I'll put some pictures, links, results, blogs, pictures. Later!